The reality is that there's a vast and significant demand for creating applications in the enterprise. 86% of organizations struggle to go hire developers to fulfill their development needs. Very significant change in how application development happens, and that's through low code. This is the environment in which Microsoft has chosen to create the Microsoft Power Platform. Another item I like to call out, which is really unique about AI Builder, is how you build the models. You don't have to go write Python, you don't have to have data scientists. In fact, it uses something called machine teaching, where you upload sample documents and label them, and that could be done by a business user or an end user. And then based on that, we will automatically, inside of AI Builder, generate the model for you. Thank you everyone for joining today. My name is Charles Lamont and I'm the Corporate Vice President for Microsoft focused on low code platforms. Today I'm going to be covering the Microsoft Power Platform strategy and vision, and I wanted to go extend a warm welcome to all of the excited Power Platform developers in the greater China region. We're very excited to share some details and an important announcement today. Before I jump into the details of the Power Platform, I always like to set the stage in the context as to why Microsoft cares so much about low code development. The reality is that there's a vast and significant demand for creating applications in the enterprise. There's going to be 500 million new applications created in the next five years, which is more than all the applications created in the last 40 years. In fact, mobile application development demand is growing five times faster than IT can satisfy it in general. And despite all of this, 86% of organizations struggle to go hire developers to fulfill their development needs. All of these things are combining to drive a very significant change in how application development happens, and that's through low code. In fact, Gartner predicts that 65% of enterprise application development will be using low code platforms in just the next four years. This is the environment in which Microsoft has chosen to create the Microsoft Power Platform. When we look at the Microsoft Power Platform, it's a single low code platform that spans all the Microsoft clouds, whether it's Office 365, Dynamics 365, or Azure, in addition to creating standalone applications and solutions. It includes Power BI, which is a low code way to analyze and slice and dice all of your data in your enterprise. It includes Power Apps, which is an easy, simple way to create powerful web and mobile applications without having to write any code as well as Power Automate, a low-code solution for business process automation, as well as robotic process automation. And lastly, the most recent addition is Power Virtual Agent, which is a low-code way to create chatbots. Together, these four elements are supported by the Common Data Service, over 300 data connectors, and AI Builder. And altogether, it's an incredibly powerful tool to solving your development needs inside the enterprise. In fact, if you look across the market, over 97% of the Fortune 500 currently uses the Power Platform worldwide. This is across all industries, all sectors, um, and all these large companies. You can see broad adoption across Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, and Power Virtual Agent, solving the most important needs and most agile needs for all of these companies. and to drill down into Power Apps a little bit more. It's a low code approach to building applications, but you can see inside the screenshot, it looks just like PowerPoint and Excel combined, provides a very easy development surface to create those web and mobile applications. And these apps work across all form factors, iOS, Android, in the browser, on your PC. You can build an application once and have it run anywhere and connect to all of your business data. And what's great is that data connectivity. There's over 300 data connectors available out of the box. From Adobe to Zendesk, all kinds of different business application SaaS and databases. So when you create a Power App, it's never operating as an island. It can always reach out and connect to all your other business data and integrate with your existing business processes and workflow. An important part of Power Apps and all of the Power Platform is the fact that it has strong enterprise governance. That means it's incredibly easy to create an application, but it's also incredibly easy to govern them and ensure you're being compliant and secure throughout your organization, making it so business users and citizen developers, all the way to IT professionals and professional developers can build applications that work and adhere to all your security needs as an enterprise. And lastly, 
Power Apps has incredibly rich integration with professional developer tools. This makes it so that you can go extend your Power App by writing code when it makes sense and in a way that makes sense. So you can increase your velocity without having to compromise on that low code first mission. And this incredibly innovative set of capabilities is what's made Power Apps be recognized by Gartner as a clear leader in enterprise low code application platforms. Uh, in very short order, Power Apps has dr driven rapid adoption as well as broad awareness in the press and through these analysts. So you can start to see just the incredible potential and capabilities of this brand new type of application development. And what's really important about Power Apps is it's fairly complete. It's not just about building UI. It includes a broad range of capabilities, things like automation and workflows through Power Automate or advanced UI customizations, whether it's data-driven and schema-driven with view and, and forms, or UI first through a completely open canvas like you'd expect inside a PowerPoint. On top of this, you have rich things like deep sharing and deep security around your data and applications to make it so that you can manage your apps just like you would something built by a developer. And of course, it extends on and on. There's advanced application lifecycle management capabilities, advanced governance and backup capabilities, advanced code plugins, as well as richer capabilities, all available underneath Power Apps. So it's a full stack application platform development environment from UI to logic to data, fully managed and fully capable without requiring managing cores or compute or, or memory, all fully encapsulated inside of a SaaS product. And of course, one of the things we like to always go back about the power, about power apps is the data connectors, over 300 of them. Make it so that when you build your power apps, you can go connect to all your existing systems without having to compromise and without actually fracturing or splitting apart your IT landscape. And when we talk about those rich workflows and those, those rich automation capabilities, that is through Power Automate, a key ingredient of the power platform. It supports all kinds of graphical authoring of API-based automation, UI-based automation or robotic process automation, as well as AI-driven understanding of analog, analog content like documents or text or, all, or videos or photos. You can go automate across all of it using Power Automate. And this rich single platform for automation is one of a kind, supporting modern systems through API, as well as legacy applications through UI automation. And the thing I like to always call out is Power Platform is a platform that works together. The same governance and security capabilities of Power Apps also apply and also integrate seamlessly with Power Automate. So when you create data loss prevention policies or you wanna go manage who can create solutions, it applies across all elements of the Power Platform in a very natural and continuous way. And just like Power Apps as well, Power Automate supports professional developer extensibility. You can go write uh, logic inside of a plugin or through a custom connector, host it in any cloud, host it anywhere, and invoke it from Power Automate or Power Apps, all as a single platform and all without, again, having to compromise in that low code first approach. And that's what makes Power Platform so special, is that you can really start with no code, go to some code, low code, and then go all the way to code first, all without having to compromise and all without falling off a cliff. And rounding out Power Platform is the, that AI capability. The AI builder offering provides a low-code AI solution for apps and processes. It makes it easy for you to easily understand content that you're using, whether it's digital paper like a PDF or a scanned document, or text, or even detect objects inside an image. It's all integrated seamlessly inside of Power Apps and Power Automate. And what's great is at the core of Power Apps is something called the Common Data Service. That's where all the data, logic, and security resides. And it naturally integrates with AI Builder. So you can run predictions on any data stored inside the Common Data Service. And these predictions just appear like any other field inside of Power Apps. And this seamless, low-code integration is what makes the Power Platform so capable and so powerful under a single solution. Another item I like to call out which is really unique about AI Builder, is how you build the models. You don't have to go write Python. You don't have to have data scientists. In fact, it uses something called machine teaching, where you upload sample documents and label them. And that could be done by a business user or an end user. And then based on that, we will automatically, inside of AI Builder, 
generate the model for you. And this is how you can have incredibly tailored, highly specific models for your solutions without having to go have an army of data scientists to go create them. And all of this integrates inside a single solution across the Power Platform. So you can connect to all your Azure data uh, bases and Azure data services seamlessly. That's Azure SQL, that's Azure Cosmos DB, Azure Data Lake, Azure Storage, you name it, you can connect to it naturally and natively inside of Power Apps. So all of your investments and anywhere you, where you want to use professional developers inside of Azure can still be used and still be leveraged inside of Power Apps. It's not Power Apps or Azure, it's Power Apps and Azure. And that's a much more powerful combination than either one on its own. And of course, I was just talking a second ago about that continuous integration, continuous deployment, CI, CD pipeline. Power Apps and Azure both work inside of GitHub, inside of Visual Studio, inside VS Code, inside Azure DevOps. All that fits together so you can run your entire development environment, as well as your entire application delivery strategy on the Microsoft Cloud in a very seamless way. And of these, there's one in particular I want to call out, and that is how you can leverage Azure resources with your custom connectors. It's possible to register any API hosted inside of Azure, on Azure Web Apps, Azure Virtual Machines, you name it, as something called a custom connector inside of Power Apps in the broader Power Platform. And what this means is that you can go use that custom logic specific to your enterprise inside of Power Apps, just like you would use any of the connectors shipped by Microsoft. This makes it incredibly easy and robust to go connect to all your existing IT investments. And if you have a system, which may be legacy or something you built in-house, and you want to go bring it into the Power Platform, there's a way to do it with this custom connector approach. And it's a first-class, integrated, rich user interface right inside of Power Apps, which allows all of your bespoke development, all of your custom applications and data services to be leveraged right inside a Power Platform with a low-code environment. So you can easily extend on all the different pieces of your enterprise. And an important piece of this is that connectors. We always talk about how it's really important that the Power Platform works in your development environment. That means with over 300 data connectors, and as well as the ability to go create those custom connectors, whatever system, whatever IT infrastructure you already have, it can just be wired up and connected into the Power Platform seamlessly without having to start over and without creating islands of data. And this built-in connectivity works in two very important ways. The first is it connects to everything in the cloud. Other SaaS applications, other Microsoft Cloud components that run uh, inside your enterprise, you can connect to without any effort. But for all the assets and infrastructure which run on-premise, we have the on-premise data gateway. So you can use these same connectors to connect to a SQL server or a SharePoint server or an Oracle database or SAP, what, whatever it is, running on-premise in your own data centers on your own private network. This makes it possible so that even if you have elements of your IT landscape which aren't very modernized, you can still start to use Power Platform on top of it. And this is how we have customers who in just less than 12 months of adopting Power Platform can go from zero to over 4,000 applications. And we have a ton of great customer stories where exactly that's happened. And this whole idea of data connectors is really critical to get to a modern view of your IT landscape. You want to connect all the different data, all the different services that you can inside of your solutions. A typical Power Apps uh, application will connect to three or more different systems. And it can all do it seamlessly and transparently for the end user. This makes it possible to go across business process data, social, uh, like uh, employee productivity data, social data, as well as important line of business enterprise applications and provide a single view and a single integrated application experience across all these different pieces of data. And what's so special about this is that you can extend on top of your existing IT landscape, get value very quickly, but you can start to modernize and improve areas of your landscape transparently for your end users. You can go create a new Power App on top of a legacy system or create a new Power App to streamline a business process that spans multiple legacy systems. The connectors, whether they're custom or out of the box from Microsoft, all make that possible in, all, in a very straightforward fashion. We've talked a lot about what Power Platform already has today, but an important piece of also Power Platform is how rapidly there's innovation on top of it. 
It's a fully managed cloud, which means there's always new updates coming. Throughout the demo, I talked about a lot of the new updates that just came out in 2020 Wave 1, which is the April release uh, of this year, um, which is going to be available uh, as part of the Power Platform worldwide. And the reality is we're shipping hundreds of features and improvements to the Power Platform every six months. The Microsoft Cloud is available across the globe. A, a very large number of regions for both Dynamics and Power Platform and uh, many different countries and many different data centers. And it's easy to go adopt uh, where it makes the most sense um, for our customers. And this global reach is how we're able to constantly be improving uh, SaaS product available to everybody around the globe. And one of the important pieces of this is that we're very excited to announce that Microsoft Power Apps and Power Automate is landing in mainland China by June 2020. In just the next couple of months, Power Apps and Power Automate will round out the Power Platform in mainland China. And we're very excited to announce this as part of this event um, because we know how much excitement and energy there is around the low code, no code development capabilities. And we're very excited to go partner from Microsoft with all of our customers to go explore and leverage the Power Platform to go solve their business process needs in transformative ways using AI Builder, Power Apps, Power Automate, uh, and Power BI. You can really start to transform all parts of your enterprise to solve all different types of data and application and automation needs. And we're very excited to launch inside of mainland China in the next couple of months. And we're going to be tracking very closely as we work with customers and partners to see how they use the Power Platform to transform things throughout their business. So as the last call to action, I would say is please give Power Platform a, a chance. Please give it a try when we launch uh, and please let us know what you think. We look forward to hearing from you and thank you again for taking the time to listen.